Hello everyone. In today's video, we will learn phrases and clauses. Let's start with the phrases. What is a phrase? A phrase is a group of words that does not make complete sense. It does not have a subject or a verb of its own. Let us try to understand with an example. The children are playing in the park. In this sentence, the words the children are playing form a complete sentence. The full meaning of this sentence is coming out. It means it is a complete sentence. It has a subject and verb. That is children is the subject and are playing are verbs. But what about the words in the park? In the park, words are giving extra information. These are group of words and it does not have a subject or a verb of its own. They are added to the main sentence to give more information. Let's see some more phrases. After the meal, the nice neighbor were waiting for the movie. In these sentences, there are no subjects. They are incomplete. So a phrase can be a short or long, but it does not include subject verb pairing. A phrase does not contain a subject completing an action. Here, please note that a phrase will always be more than one word. Now let's understand clauses. A clause is a group of words that contains a subject and a verb. It can be a part of a longer sentence or it can also be a complete sentence on its own. Let us try to understand with an example. Rosie bought a new computer. Here, subject is Rosie and verb is bought. It follows subject verb pairing. It is a clause as well as a sentence because it is conveying complete thought and it has a subject and verb. But all clauses are not sentences. Before going further, let's understand the difference between a sentence and a clause with an example. The man who is wearing white coat is a doctor. Let's take some parts of the sentence. The man is a doctor. Here, it is a group of words and expressing complete thought. It has a subject that is the man and a verb that is is. That means it is a sentence as well as clause. Now let's take other part of the sentence. Who is wearing white coat? Here, who is the subject and is wearing are verbs. That means it is a clause as well as a sentence. Yes or no? No. Why no? Because it is not giving complete sense. Who is wearing white coat? We don't know who we are talking about unless we use it with the main sentence. Therefore, clause is a group of words that contains a subject and a predicate. And sentence is also a group of words but that expresses a complete thought. A clause can sometimes act as a sentence and such type of clauses are called independent clauses. The most important thing one should remember is every sentence is a clause because every sentence has a subject and a verb. But every clause is not a sentence because every clause may not make complete sense. Let's see one more example. I remember the house where I was born. The first part of the sentence, I remember the house, has a subject, I, and a verb, remember. The second part of the sentence, where I was born, also contains a subject, I, and verbs, was born. Here two clauses are there. Both are clauses because they have subjects and verbs in it. But are both conveying complete sense? The first main sentence is giving complete information. I remember the house. But the second part of the sentence, where I was born, does not convey complete sense. Or in other words, it cannot stand all alone. If we read this sentence separately, where I was born, it is not giving complete meaning. 
such type of group of words are only clauses but not sentences they are also called dependent clause because they depend on the main sentence to give complete information so let's do a recap a phrase is a group of words without a subject and a verb for example took the train it has no subject and a clause is a group of words with a subject and a verb for example webster took the train in this sentence subject as well as verb is there therefore it is a clause note phrase can never be a sentence now let's do a self assessment read the sentences given here choose whether the underlined group of words are phrases or clauses pause the video and write answers in your rough notebook all right let's check the answers she wore a dress made of silk phrase second raju lived in a house built of stone phrase third there were no cars in those days phrase fourth you will do well if you work hard it's a clause fifth as soon as i saw the snake i ran away it's a clause sixth i went to see what had happened it's a clause seventh i play cricket with my brother it's a phrase last one eighth clean your room before you go out to play it's a clause i hope you enjoyed this lesson happy learning and i will see you in another lesson bye for now